versus video coming up in the future, so please subscribe to the channel. Alrighty, so today what we're, we are gonna do is we're gonna unbox and test out the brand new Ryobi HP brushless impact wrench. Now, and I was excited about this. Now, when it comes to these types of tools, I was not able to buy these even online for the past month and a half. This is my first time able to actually buy this. And so I did. I wanna thank my TTI rep so much for actually putting it in the work so I can get this off the top shelf and unboxed. So yeah, so we are gonna unbox this, test this out, look over the specs and see how this actually is. And we are gonna do versus videos against the DeWalt and Milwaukee and uh, Makita in the future and all the other impact wrenches that I have. So. And just like you guys know, in every episode, when it comes to impact drivers or impact wrenches, because I have my test complete, thank God, we will be using the Milwaukee uh, M18 1800 foot-pound impact wrench. One inch. All right, but let's unbox this, look at the specs, and test this out. I will admit this is not scientific, but it'll be a darn good test because I'm going to tighten these, and I'm gonna, I am gonna—I want to see if the Ryobi can bust these nuts. Obviously, I'm not gonna tighten them down all the way because I have nothing that will break 1,800 foot-pounds, but I'm gonna tighten it up a good bit, each of these bolts, and we'll see if Ryobi can bust them. That's good. That is good. That's good. Good. This is this is going to be an interesting one. I'm curious if Ryobi is going to be able to bust these. That's good. That's good. My welds are holding up. That's good. That's good. That is good. One more right here. Very good. Now we have one more set to do. And that is the... Tw this one I have a... Do we have a one inch to a half inch adapter for this one? That's good. Like I said, I know it's not 100% scientific, but it is darn cool, and these are on tight. Wow, this, <laughs> oh, sorry, this does, this does have a friction ring, uh, no pin detent. I'm excited about this. All right, let's see if uh, Ryobi could bust these nuts. Ready? Go. Yes, that can. Wow, this thing is powerful. Ready, go. Yes, it can. Let's move on to the 30. All right, if this busts its nut, if this busts the nut, I do want to do a test on the older brushless one to see if it could do it. Ready, go. Yes, it, oh, that is powerful. All right, I'm just curious. Let's see if it can do this. Ready? Speed three, go. Let's see if we can bust this nut. Ready? Go. Nope, that this one this failed at that. Let's see if the new Ryobi could do it and then some. Ready? Go. It can. So yes, the new the new Ryobi uh, P262 is a lot more powerful than the older brushed model. That proves it right there. This thing is awesome. It really is. Let's do another one. We'll save those for last. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. Another one. Ready, go. Got 
Got it. This motor smells like a brand new motor. No burning, no nothing. I love the size of this. I love the, I seriously, this thing is awesome. Ready? Go. It was not able to bust that one. What's my battery at? Full bar still. Do the next one. Got it. Next one. Got it. One more of this again. Give it one more shot. Nope. It cannot. It cannot. We got this one right here. All right, we have uh, uh, the Milwaukee. This is a five. Uh, let's see if we can, if this could bust that nut. I think I think it's this one. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. It did. All right, guys. Now, when it comes to this, I'm still looking for a one and a half inch uh, to a one and a half inch socket to a half inch uh, anvil. I know that this one specific one is not impact rated, so please don't blow, blow up my comments about it. All right, let's see if we can bust these nuts. Ready? Go. Nope. Try this one. Nope. Let's do a temperature reading on that really quick. 141 degrees. 143 degrees, 143. Alrighty, I do think that uh, I tightened these up to the max to where it can't do it, which that's that's a good thing, which means that the, that my, uh, uh, me using the Milwaukee one inch is actually a good test because if it can't bust this, there might be another impact wrench that I have that might be able to. So it also might be affected by the adapter, which is why I have, to, I'm going to order it today. I have to get a one and a half inch or a 38 millimeter socket that goes straight to a half inch. What's the battery? Battery is at three bars. Let's give it one, one last crack. Ready? Go. Got it. It got it. My welds are holding up too, which is a good thing. All right, let's give this one one more crack. Ready? Go. Time. Got it. This thing is a beast. And I'm pretty sure when it comes to this one, if I gave it a little bit more time, it will. But this thing is a little beast. And like I said to you guys before, I am majorly changing the way I do these tests. Uh, I still am uh, I still am going to do lags with impact wrenches and impact drivers, but this is going to be the main focus because people really do use impact wrenches and impact uh, drivers to drive in uh, lags. We're not going to do lags in this episode. We're just going to do the nut busting to see how that does. We'll do lags in the versus video between this and the other impact, uh, mid-range other impact wrenches that I have. But this thing's a beast though, 600 foot-pounds of torque. This thing is a beast. And I could guarantee you, no reason for a versus video, I guarantee you that this will destroy this. So yeah, so this thing is, if you have this, if you just bought this, I am sorry because you for $60 more, you can get this tool only and this thing is a beast. And that's only using a four amp hour battery. So I, uh, we are gonna do a further test of this with uh, versus videos against uh, higher amp hour batteries. So yeah, so yeah, this thing is now obsolete when it comes to the Ryobi brand. This thing is a beast. And yeah, and also I do have a video of the Ryobi, the new HP uh, brushless hammer drill, which I'll put that right here. And this is a good, uh, good tool as well. I actually, uh, I love it. And so I, the new Ryobi HP tools are fantastic tools now. Like, they're, like I said in many videos, Ryobi is not the company that people think that they are. 
Ryobi is actually coming out with some pretty good stuff. All right, so this, this is model number P262. It's their brand new half inch uh, mid range impact wrench, 600 foot pounds of breakaway torque, three speed modes plus uh, auto, tri beam, half inch anvil, die cast gear uh, case for maximum durability. All right, so all right, so it is 450 foot pounds of fastening torque. Uh, speed one is zero to 1200 rpm and on speed two it is 2000 rpm and then auto pretty good i'm ex i'm excited about this one and of course you get instructions and a catalog uh, i'm assuming it's their standard three-year warranty a three-year limited warranty and after the instructions and catalog here is the tool which look at that this actually looks good i like the way that that looks that really looks good I like that. I love their green and black. Their green and black is awesome. You know what? Let's actually put this side by side <coughs> with their new uh, Milwaukee mid-range. All right, so this is the side difference. Size difference, sorry. The Yes, the Ryobi is bigger, and it is fatter and taller. All right, so that is the height. A little bit down more. That's the height difference. Uh, it's it's about the same, about the same uh, uh, height, but yeah, but that is the difference between the uh, 650 foot-pound mid-range. This is model number 2962-20, but yeah, but like, uh, so like I said, you know, these do have connections. Like I said in a previous video, the new HP tools, the bigger, the full size, do have the connections on the on the base. So this one will work with your previous batteries, which is a good thing. It is a very good thing. I, I like the way it looks. I do. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.